Benny finishes, then Dash. But Benny likes to lick out his bowl. Then usually it's Leilani or Jojo, and then Gibbs. Jojo, Leilani, Gibbs, Benny, Dash. Benny and Dash, I just gave them the last bit of their food, and I have a box from Chewy right there that I need to. This And this is what I do 
But um, to get the dog food bowls up, I flip the bowl up with my foot and say, get it, hold, give. Yes, good boy, very good dog. I do this for all the bowls. Yes, good boy, look, there's your bowl. Look. Yes, good boy. Since Dash is waiting, I'll let him out. Otherwise, it's kind of chaos at the door when I do. So, oh, I guess Leilani's done. We'll get busy. Benny's gonna get busy. So when he comes back in, we'll finish. I think the key with watching more than one dog, the key is that you have boundaries and that everybody knows what they are and that you're gentle and encouraging. I found that these dogs really respond to encouragement and praise. So let's say sometimes Jojo doesn't come in when I call her and that scares me sometimes. She's done. Hey buddy, Blenheims are done now. All right, there's Mr. Gibbs and Jojo. So instead of yelling at her for not coming or whatever, I will start like cheering and say, come on, let's go, like making it really fun and exciting. And then she'll come and then I'll be really excited. So she learns, oh, when Kelly calls, really excited. The hardest times for me is actually the feeding time because there's so many of them. And usually when I first wake up, Usually when I first wake up in the morning, I'm not feeling so good. So it can be quite a hard time in the mornings because I just don't feel well. But these dogs, and I think most dogs really appreciate routine. And so I do the same thing every day. The other thing is that my mom's three dogs, all the dogs sleep in bed with me at night. My mom's three dogs sleep in a laundry room in, the ha in my parents' house, so they don't normally sleep in bed. And I had to teach them when they started staying with me that my expectation of them as a dog is that they stay in bed until I'm ready to get up. And the reason for that is because I don't feel well in the morning so badly that sometimes it just takes me a while to get up. So I can wake up, but it might take me 30 minutes to get out of bed because I feel so poorly. And I've taught my own dogs that. And just, it's been really cool to see these dogs do that as well. So this is Benny's food. It's the one food that I found that he can tolerate. Uh, I did a video last year uh, after he, I discovered he has eight food allergies and that food actually ended up not working for him. And after I ran out, out of all of the foods that Benny had tried and couldn't eat, I used those all for Dash because Dash doesn't really care. His body doesn't care what he's eating. Um, I put Dash on this as well. So I only have to buy one food. So it's Taste of the Wild at Specific Stream, it has salmon. So this is the hard part. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this to the other room and then maneuver it. I'm doing this while the dogs are out so that I don't have people in their foot. food into the bin. Uh, when you have more than one dog, they get really competitive. It's called resource guarding. And it just means that, maybe you've noticed this if you have a dog, that if one dog has something, the other certainly wants that same thing. And not their own, not like the same bone. They want that dog's bone. Usually I break down that box, but So what I usually do while they're outside is I go make my bed because the dogs like to jump on the bed and my bed, I get up and out of it immediately, go feed them. So it's unmade. The other thing I don't tolerate is barking at the door to let them in, whining, a 
attacking and jumping at the door. It's something Leilani will do. I don't, I say no, no, <laughs> this is not allowed. So that's why it's quiet right now. I think they realize that I will get them. If they're still not ready to come in, I'll get dressed. But since they're ready to come in, I let them in and then I'll get dressed. But as a leader, it's important that I am firm but gentle and kind and generous and Usually what I do is I open this door to let them in, but I think it's really fun to see them come in through the dog doors, so I'll show you that. So that's Leilani. Gibbs coming? There he is. Good boy, Gibbs. Okay, we gotta finish quick for picking up those bowls. Now sometimes I can't do the dishes. I'm feeling so sick but I really, really try if I can because I'm a person who feels a lot better when my home is organized. Yes, and clean. No, ma'am. That's another rule we have is nobody crosses this threshold. And as you can see, I don't have a gate, but I just reinforce it. So if somebody starts to walk over there they usually know they're not supposed to do it and they'll stop. So you can see she stopped that time. All right, let's go everybody. We're gonna go in the bedroom because I gotta change clothes. Gibbs is rubbing himself. He does this. He used to do it on my clothes in the closet. Rub himself. Come on, Benny, we're gonna go in the, in the other room. So she's got a lot of energy when she comes in from outside. And that is why I made the bed, because she's gonna jump. So we got one, two, three, four, five, I always count. And they, Benny will pick up on that energy. And yes, I have that blanket down because I have five dogs on my bed and sometimes they track stuff in. You silly girl. Puppy has lots of energy. So, um, now it's time. Dash is always wondering, are you leaving, Mom? She, if so, can I go in my trick crate and get some treats? So this is for Gibbs, Jojo, and Leilani. I'm going to get dressed, so I'm going to turn you off. <laughs> you are not alone in this world. You are not alone. You are not alone.